I just spent like 400 hours making my first game ever, and by some miracle, I actually did it. Look, I've been playing games since I left the womb. Game development was always a thing that was in the back of my mind, but I never acted upon it. If I tried making a game, every single game studio and game developer would see my work and be like, bro, this guy's too goaded, I give up. <laughs> so I just finished my spring semester and one of my classes was a game dev class. So my professor was like, listen, you, Sam, you have two months to make a game. And if you don't, I'm forcing you to play Dark Souls 2 again. <laughs> I had to bring something to the table. I'm not doing that again. So at this point, I realized, bro, it was over. It was over. The closest thing I've ever made to a complete game was Flappy Bird. And I didn't even make it. I followed the tutorial, but I believed in myself. Hey, if if no one believes in you, you believe in yourself. I don't know, like Solid Snake said that or something. Okay, first things first, brainstorming immediately. Do you have an idea? Write it down. So I whipped out the pen, the notebook, placed them down, and I started going to ham. This is going to be the greatest game you've ever made. Metal Gear Solid 6, you're going to make Death Stranding 3. You are Hideo Kojima's disciple. You're going to make the greatest game. You don't know how to make games. <sighs> okay, listen to me. Whenever you start learning something or, or making something, especially game development, you always think you know way more than you actually do. You do not. I swear to God, you do not. <laughs> but it's so hard to start small. When you love games so much and you're fascinated and you see all these cool games you play, you're like, bro, I want to make this, bro. My first game is going to be so crazy. I'm going to I'm gonna have this. I'm going to have this. Bro, you realize there's levels to this. this. There's levels to this. So I thought I needed to choose an already made concept and just dumb it down to an arcade style. So here's what I came up with. Close your eyes and imagine. Enter the Gungeon, Vampire Survivors, Red Dead Redemption, Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies, Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare, The Walking Dead Telltale Series, Animal Crossing. A 2D, top-down, survival, roguelike shooter, pixel art 2D style, made in the Unity game engine with cool cowboys, guns, zombies, killing, 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 zombies, cowboys, Buying weapons. Yes. Yeah, so much for <laughs> small scale. Okay. Again, I had to keep it reasonably small, but cool enough to satisfy me. Because if it sucks, I'm going to drop out the class. Let's get scratching. So immediately when I jumped in, I started learning a lot, okay? Every single thing I wanted to implement was Googled. And that's normal. That's so normal. That's probably the best way to do it. You want to figure out how to do something? How to do this. I want to make my character move. How to make character move in Unity. Tutorial. Literally just do that. It's a constant cycle. So I had my little white square block and I made it move around in top down style. Yay! I'm not going to get into like crazy coding details because like... My mind is too advanced for you and you would never understand. I'm kidding. But the top down was pretty clean. Basic character movement, but then I was like, bro, this is so ugly. I suck d at like 2D pixel art. So the best thing to do, free assets. I scavenged, bro. So I found the zombie apocalypse tile set pack, made a small little map, but then I still had my white little cube. So I had to make a character. Oh my God, this is the biggest mistake ever. Listen to me, do not be a perfectionist, especially when you have limited time. I spent, I think like, I don't know how many days on this character. I went through 17,000 different designs, but that's all part of it, bro. Nothing stays the same. Everything's gonna keep changing for the better. Okay, this is what I came up with. Nice little hat, um, just a little guy, bandana, legs. Pretty cute, pretty chill, no eyes, because I can't get that detailed. He just has an idle animation. Pretty chill. That's good. That's pretty good. And his walk. This one's very cool. Look at this. This is his walk. Hey, you skip it a lot. That's cute, bro. That's good, man. And then just like damage, taking damage, sprites. I can't remember which document I used for this. Oh, man. I got to find it. Okay. I literally just used this. They just had an example of like this little dinosaur. Yeah. I just used the same like walk animations. Dude, I'm not good at making my own. I just referenced this and I think it came out pretty good. 
Pretty cool. He looks good. I like him. Dude, I was honestly getting so hyped up because it actually looked good and I was satisfied with it. And I really wanted to finish the game because it looked good. Figuring out everything in the beginning of Unity it was the worst nightmare of my entire life. Especially just 2D sprites and just in general. It's obvious, bro. Like, like, I've never dived into this game engine this hard. I've done Unity, but like, when you dive in, dude, you get overwhelmed. The only way to get good at something is if you keep doing it. So I just kept doing the same thing over and over, importing my sprite, slicing the sprite, putting the sprite here, doing the animations so many times that it was just like, what's the word? Instinct. It was like instinct for me. You know what I'm saying? So here we are, beautiful character movement. Oh my god, nice little map. This is cool, dude. And then I started implementing the enemies. Thank god this little, like, asset pack came with, like, different enemies. So I just found the zombie, used the animation for him, and, uh, we had a zombie. And then I made it so when he dies, blood splat, and then it fades away, and then he drops a coin. And then I also made it, you get hit four times. You turn to a gravestone. Yes. My game's a bit dark and it's 18 plus and I'm a twisted psychopath. Okay, so I, I had a default revolver at the beginning, but I wanted to add like some sort of item shop and then like you can buy weapons with those coins. Cause like, what are you gonna do with the coins? Am I just collecting them to just flex on everybody and money spread the coins? No, 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 no. We gotta put them to use somewhere. So that's when I found this little asset. Whew. Dude, the idea just came to me just like instantly, bro. Just a dude chilling beside an RV or truck or van, whatever, having a cigarette. Oh my God. That's the merchant. Ooh, the merchant. What a tough name. He's just chilling, smoking a cigar. You're like, bro, who is this guy? You go up to him, pops up, press E to interact. You hit E. I'm gonna fangirl a little bit here because this is probably my favorite feature that I implemented. I spent, I don't know how long making the item shop. What I initially thought of was the merchant opens his van and he's like, yo, look at my guns. This is my gun wall, buy a gun. But I just didn't know how it would look from a UI standpoint. So I'm like, listen, black ops, zombies, wall buys. I really like the chalk thing. So I'm like, what if you access the shop you got boards that come down, boom, do a little bounce, the chalk, and then you can just buy one. I went to my sprite editor, I made the chains with the wood and the wall buy. Bro, uh, money. It in, it was in, it was a three point shot, green immediately. I threw them into the game, gave them animations, found some cool sound effects and listen to this. Okay, okay, look at this, oh my God. Press E. Oh my god. Dude, if that isn't the sexiest sound you've ever heard in your life, I don't know what is. And look, look, E again. Oh my god. I just spent so long on that shit, man. That's so worth it. It's so good. Dude, wow. Okay, they come down, bro. The chain's like... It's like, yo, look at the wall buys, bro. Choose one. I'm like, bro, don't mind if I do merch. I'm gonna choose one, bro. I also have a gun now. See, it falls my mouse. Pretty sick. And shooting. Yum. Clean. And let's say I want to buy a new weapon. We go here. Let's say I want to buy like an AK. <laughs> so good. Switches out the, the current gun. And then because now since I have an AK, the fire rate is like quicker. Sick. Shotgun. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm broke. One second. Let me give myself six million dollars. One second. So sick, bro. Nice. So clean. So clean. I was so proud of that, bro. So nice. Somebody hire me. And you know what? Don't even hire me because you'd be too scared to have me on your team because of how good I am. Oh my God. I did eventually in the future want to put more weapons. I just don't really know how I would do it since this is like a chain thing. I guess it would get refreshed every time you buy one. I don't know. But since I only had limited time, I didn't put that feature in. 
but I was satisfied with what I had, I'm not gonna lie. So there was the basic gameplay loop, killing zombies, collecting coins, buying from the item shop. And then I had to make UI, so like the health bar, and like I wanted to put the current gun that the player had. So whenever you bought a gun, it would switch out that gun on the bottom left. The health bar, that's not even mine, okay? I am, I am not that good. After that, the player just takes damage, boom, gravestone. If you know what the sound is, you know. You know. Goes up, shows your stats, time survived, enemies killed, coins collected, retry and exit. That's it. That's like as simple as it can get. And fun. It's actually kind of fun. Beautiful. It looks amazing. In the last few days left that I had, I started adding more details. For example, when you start a match, it's all dark, and then you see the campfire, and then you see the lights. Like, okay, bro, campfire, pretty mysterious, bro. What am I about to see right now? The map gets revealed. Little cool introduction. I really like it a lot. But yeah, I think that's it. And then the name I came up with for this was Last Stand. And here she is. It's like 3 a.m. right now. This thing is due tomorrow, presenting it tomorrow. I'm about to give you some crazy developer exclusive gameplay here. I'm gonna show you a master at work. Play. Little fade. Okay. Oh, fire. Mysterious. Oh, there she is, the reveal. Clean, man. Oh, I have 200 bucks. Um, that's fine. It's okay. Let me cheese real quick. Easy. Sniper. Oh, collateral? Damn. Pretty good, bro. This is kind of fun. I'm like, this is pretty good. Okay, let me die now. Bye. I will sacrifice myself. Leave me. Go! Clean, clean, time survived, enemies killed, coins collected. Beautiful. We can retry, or we can pause, exit. Beautiful, man. Very good. There she is, man. This was, this was very fun to make. I think I learned a lot. This was a fun video to make as well, I'm not gonna lie. But for my first game ever, that's pretty good, I'm not gonna, let's go, that's pretty good. But anyways, that's gonna be it from me. I hope you enjoyed this first video. But yeah, welcome to the channel, you know what I'm saying? If you enjoyed, subscribe. Um, This channel is gonna be just literally just games, bro. I'm gonna talk about games, we're gonna make games, we're gonna... Games, bro, come on. That's, that's all I do through the day. Just, why don't I just, just do it somewhere, you know what I mean? But I hope you enjoyed, I enjoyed it. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Peace.